Today, I'll show you a new and very fast way to turn app ideas into a working coded prototype. We'll be going over a new feature inside of Copy Coder and we'll be using the new feature by Cursor called Background Agents that were just released last week. I'll show you exactly how it works and which steps to take. Let's jump into the video. So first, why does this even matter? Why do we want to do this? Basically, if you want to vibe code a serious application that you can actually ship and make money with, most people will either use Cursor or Windsurf. Some people will use uh, VS Code with Klein or Claude Code. But the point is that you want to start building in an IDE if you're building something serious that you can actually like post to production, right? And the problem though with working in an IDE is that it takes ages to get started. Like you need to set up your dependencies, you need to create your front end piece by piece, need to iterate on your design and it just takes a lot of time to do this process up front. And so today I'm going to show you a much easier and faster way to do this. Okay, so we're in Copy Coder here in the design view. I'm just going to start this process fresh and I'll reset my workspace and then we can go here into the plan tab. Uh, as you can see here, we have a model here where you can select landing page or web app. We'll start off with a web app first and later I can show you the landing page flow as well. And here we'll just type in and describe the app that we want to build. So I recently had this idea of a Reddit growth app that I wanted to build that's AI powered. So I'll just describe that here. Okay, I want uh, us to build an AI powered Reddit growth tool. It should have a page where I can uh, input my product details and it will suggest me some subreddits. And then it should have a page where I can um, create posts for these subreddits with the help of AI. And it should also have a page where I can uh, select certain posts and then uh, draft the reply for them. And all of that should be AI powered. Okay, then let's generate this web app. So what it does in this step is it actually analyzes what we described and thinks about which pages there should be in this app and then creates for each of the page a description of how that page should look like and what should be part of that page, right? So we can go into first, let's have a look at yeah the, the pages that it created. So the first page is like product setup. Okay, cool. Post creator, reply manager, sounds good. Analytics and settings. Okay, so that sounds good so far. Let's go into the details here. On the first page, you kind of see there's this like extra items here, which are in green, which are the global items. So you will see these across all pages. And then in the main content, you'll see what's actually inside of those pages. So let's read this one. A clean form layout with product input fields followed by an AI analysis section displaying recommended subreddits in cards with relevant scores and engagement metrics. Yep, that's pretty much what I wanted. Okay, post creator page. Two column layout with subreddit selection dropdown and post preview on the left. AI post generation form with title and content fields plus posting schedule options on the right. Yeah, sounds good too. Reply manager, I think is similar. Analytics and settings page. Okay, I think we can remove the analytics page for now. We'll just have a settings page. And let's have a look at this one. AI preference with toggle for response style and tone settings. Um, yeah, and actually what I wanna add here, I wanna be able to upload some examples of good Reddit posts and then have it train the AI on the style of these posts. And then we're gonna basically input this prompt here and this will generate a better prompt that should be better for the design that we're about to create in the next step, okay? So the next step now is to generate a design. Okay, boom, look at this. After waiting for a few seconds, it came up with the design for the entire app now. So let's go inside of each of the pages that we planned and have a look what was designed for us. Okay, so as you can see the first page here, it has a section where you can like input your product name, category, product description, target audience, and it says analyze with AI. And I guess after you press that, it will give you this recommended subreddits here. And then, okay, it also gives you an analysis overview. Okay, so I like it. The thing that's missing for me is, let me edit that. In this section, I want to be able to input my product URL and it analyzing that product URL and then pre-filling these product detail fields for me. And only after that, I will 
click the button to get my recommended subreddits. Okay, let's apply these changes. And um, this way we can quickly make edits to this design. Okay, there we go. So it made the edit and yeah, I can input my product URL now. We can do extract details and then it will pre-fill this. And it says find, find subreddits here. Okay, that's much better. The other thing is I kind of don't need this part, so I will edit that as well. Let's make that edit. You can remove this part. Okay, great. And now what I want to do is also in this section, I want to be able to actually select the subreddits. Um, so there should be like a checkbox or something. So let's make that edit. I want to have some checkboxes so that I can actually select the subreddits that I want. Okay. There we go. Now we have checkboxes and we can actually confirm our selection after we selected those checkboxes. Okay, perfect. So this first page is done and it is now exactly how I want it. Um, now let's have a look at the second page as well. Second page is post creator. We can select a subreddit here. That's cool. And then it's like a post preview, AI post generation, posting schedule. Perfect. Um, that's exactly how I want it. And I think that's cool. Like we, the other pages, we can have a quick look also. We could edit those two. There's a bit of a error here, but we'll fix that. And yeah, this settings page looks good as well. Cool. So like we could go in and edit these, but I don't want to make the video too long. So we'll just go into the next step now, which is to export all of that. I'm going to click into the export, download all of the project files. And then I will put my project files into a folder. Okay, we're in cursor now. I've created this new folder and I have all of the files that we just exported are now in here and they're in the form of prompts. And you'll see in a sec how we can transform these prompts really quickly with the background agent into a working prototype, okay? And uh, we're gonna do this now. So what I'll just do here is I will select not auto, I'll select the, the background Asian first. And then, yeah, okay, auto selects Claude for sonnets, that's fine. And then we'll just do, actually, we need to, we need to set up a GitHub repo first. Just initialize the repo, say first commit, and then publish this to just a private repository. That's kind of needed for the, for the background agent to work. And uh, once that's done, we can now do run setup so we just tag the setup file here and run it with the background agent. Okay. Just need to restart this close folder and open it up again. That should do the trick. Select background agent and let's run it. Okay. We've triggered the background agent now. The background agent is running. We can open it up just to see the progress here, but we don't really. We can like work on something else in the meantime. Uh, go have a coffee and come back when it's done. Okay. The background agent is done. Now we can click here on checkout locally and that's going to fetch the branch that was just created by the background agent. And once we have that, we can just open up the terminal here and I'll type npm i to just install the dependencies. Okay. And then npm run dev to open up this application in our browser locally. Okay. There we go. So we have the first page right here and second page. Yep. That's also how we designed it. Cool and the reply manager pages here as well. And as you can see, we have now a working prototype, which we can continue iterating on inside of cursor directly. And that's the best part about this, because now if you want to add the backend and add the other integrations and all of that, we can do that within cursor or within your, your other IDE, um, which makes it much easier to build these things. If you've done that before, uh, you'll know that it's much easier to build more complex things within cursor. So that's the benefit here. And yeah, as you can see, it offloads the like design work into the front of the user journey. And you can like, as a user, just focus on the design in the beginning, just iterate on the design, the different pages, the layout of your app, and then just pass it to the agent and the agent will just build it out for you inside of cursor. And that's where you can like continue b building the more complex stuff. So it's much faster and it also saves you a lot of tokens and money in building this thing. Now, I also wanted to show you the process for generating a landing page. So basically the, the marketing websites for this application. And we can also just say, I want to make a marketing landing page for uh, Reddit, 
AI growth tool. And it should have a homepage, a pricing page, and a page for our affiliates. Generate this. Okay. It made a home page. Okay. It made a few more pages than I asked, but uh, that's fine. We can delete these and we can then generate the pricing page and also the affiliate page. And the cool thing about the landing page mode is you have these sections and you can actually play around with these sections. So you can. For example, say on this page, I might, this page is fine, but uh, for the pricing page, I don't really want the hero header. And for the affiliates page, I guess I don't need the, how it works part, or I'll just remove the CTA just for demo purposes. And then I can also generate the design here. Okay, we just got our designs for this, for these pages here. So this is the home page looks really nice. I like it. It has those sections that we defined. This is the page for the pricing and this is the page for the affiliates. Okay. And we can actually edit those as well. So I can go in here and say, this seems to be missing an image. So let's edit that. This section uh, needs an image on the right. Use an image from Pexels. Make sure the image is sized properly to fit. Okay, so this has an image now and yeah, we can make other changes as well. But for now, we'll just leave that and the same process again, I'll export this and then I'll do the same thing with cursor, just run it as a background agent and I'll show you the results now. Okay, it's done. It's been built out. As you can see, I have my landing page here as I planned in the design. I have the various pages, pricing, affiliates page, all done super fast by the background agent. And um, yeah, all of it uh, was designed inside of Copy Coder Builder and then just exported to the agent. And this way you can build out your marketing uh, landing pages for your application super fast and then export it and just have some agent. It doesn't have to be cursor background agent. It can also be cloud code or in Windsurf and get a finished result. This feature is live today on copycoder.ai. I'll put a link below if you want to check it out. Um, you find it within Copy Coder inside of this Builder tab here. And right now it's still in beta and you'll need a starter plan to access it. Yeah, I'm really curious to hear your feedback. Let me know what you think. And thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.